Dear viewers, Namaste. Welcome you all to the lecture series on food technology. The topic yeast fermentation will be studied under five subunits such as 1 introduction, 2nd baker's yeast, 3 food and feed yeast, 4 alcohol yeast and at last other yeast products. 1 introduction. Yeast is a single celled microorganism that is classified along with molds and mushrooms as members of the kingdom fungi. Although yeast are single celled organisms, they possess a cellular organization similar to that of higher organisms including humans. Specifically, their genetic content is contained with a membrane bound nucleus. This classifies them as eukaryotic organisms. Unlike their single celled counterparts bacteria which do not have a membrane bound nucleus and are considered prokaryotes. Yeast are widely dispersed in nature with a wide variety of habitats. They are commonly found on plant leaves, flowers and fruits as well as in soil. Yeast has been used as an industrial microorganism for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptian used yeast fermentation to leaven bread. There is evidence of grinding stones, baking chambers and drawing of 4000 years old bakeries. Archaeological digs have uncovered evidence in the form of jars containing the remains of wine that is 7000 years old. Yeast were first visualized in 1680 by Antony van Leeuwenhoek using high quality lenses. However, he thought that these globules were starchy particles of the grain used to make wort. The liquid extract used in brewing rather than fermenting yeast cells. In the 1850s, Louis Pasteur discovered that fermented beverages resulted from the conversion of glucose to ethanol by yeast and defined fermentation as respiration without air. Yeast has long been considered to be the organism of choice for the production of alcoholic beverages, bread and large variety of industrial products. Yeast strains are commonly used in many industries because they have been developed with the following traditional and new physiological properties such as a ability to grow rapidly at room temperature of about 20 to 25 degree Celsius, b easy dispensability in water, c ability to produce large amounts of carbon dioxide in floor dough rather than alcohol, good keeping quality that is ability to resist autolysis when stored, e high potential glycolytic activity, f ability to adapt rapidly to changing substrates g high invertase and other enzyme activity to hydrolyze the higher glutofractans rapidly h ability to grow and synthesize enzymes under the anaerobic conditions i ability to resist the osmotic effect of salts and sugars and at last high competitiveness that is high yielding in terms of dry weight per unit of substrate used Second, baker's yeast. The use of yeast in bread making is an ancient art. Although man did not always recognize the metabolism of the rise of dough, it is of interest to give a brief historical account of the development of the yeast industry. The dough of leavened bread, whose antiquity is testified by biblical records, was probably raised by a mixture of yeast and lactic acid bacteria. A small piece of successful dough was used as the inoculum for the next batch providing a type of early continuous culture. From about the middle ages, bakery yeast were obtained from wine making and brewing. 
but the quality of the yeast was variable and in the case of yeast obtained from beer, the product was bitter because of the hops in the beer. This period lasted until the latter part of the 19th century when the work of Pasteur from 1855 to 1857 elucidated the nature of yeast. The first major step in the development of Baker's yeast technology can be said to be the so-called Vienna process introduced about 1860 in which grain mash meant for anaerobic alcohol production was gently aerated so that a good quantity of yeast was obtained. The work of pasture later led to more vigorous aeration thus yielding more cells and less alcohol. As a result of grain shortages resulting from World War I, a shift was made from the use of grain to the use of beet molasses supplemented by ammonia and phosphate. The next major step in the development of Baker's yeast technology was the introduction of fed batch or incremental addition of nutrients rather than the introduction of all nutrients at the beginning as is the case in the classical batch method. The essence of this system known as the Zalout method is still used today in Baker yeast manufacture and ensures that an excess of molasses sugar which might lead to alcohol production is avoided. Another important development the production of dried active yeast was necessitated by the need to provide troops fighting in far of lands a means of producing bread instead of the compressed yeast normally used in temperate countries. Today's production methods for baker's yeast do not allow alcohol production because of the vigorous aeration used. Furthermore, the yield has increased from 3% in the mid 19th century through 13% early in this century. To the present day yield of over 50% dry weight of yeast. Yeast strains used. Nowadays specially selected strains of Saccharomyces cerevisiae are used. However, non-sporulating tarula yeast have occasionally been used for baking. For some time two strains of baker's yeast were available. One was highly active but had poor stability during storage. The other had poor activity but was highly stable in storage. The specially selected baking strains of Saccharomyces cerevisiae are apt to mutate and therefore proper storage is most important. Of the various methods used, storage in liquid nitrogen and the oil culture method in which sterile oil is placed over a slant of yeast and refrigerated at 4 degrees Celsius are most widely used. Production of Baker's Yeast Substrates The substrates usually used for Baker's Yeast production is molasses, where there are not available or too expensive any suitable sugar containing substrate for example corn steep liquor may of course be used. In the Soviet Union for example sulphite liquor is used for both alcohol and baker's yeast production. Phosphorus, ammonium and smaller amounts of magnesium, potassium, zinc and thiamine are added for maximum productivity to the mixed molasses. Antifoam is sometimes added. Beet and cane molasses when they are simultaneously available are treated separately, clarified, pH adjusted and sterilized. They are then mixed in equal amounts so that the nutritional deficiency of one type is made up by the other. Cane sugar is particularly richer in biotin, thiamine and magnesium and calcium while beet molasses is much richer in nitrogen. The molasses is clarified to remove inert colored material 
arising from colloidal particles and which can impart undesirable color to the yeast. Clarification may be achieved by precipitation with alum or calcium phosphate or by polyelectrolyte flocculating agents such as alginates and polyacrylamides. Clarification also helps reduce foaming. Sterilization is achieved by heating at 100 degree to 110 degree Celsius for about an hour. After the pH has been adjusted to 6 to 8 to prevent caramelization of the sugar. Fermentation process. The fermenter for baker's yeast propagation is nowadays made of stainless steel. Generally, baker's yeast fermenters are aerated only by sparges which are so arranged that large volumes of air pass through per unit time about 1 volume of air per volume of broth per minute. It is most important that aeration be high and constant. When the oxygen falls below 0.2 ppm, anaerobic conditions set in and alcohol is formed. Water, mineral, nutrients, yeast and the blended molasses containing 1% glucose are mixed. Molasses is added incrementally during the course of the fermentation as it is used up by the yeast beyond the 0.1% ceiling. The pH maintained at 4 to 6 by the addition of alkali and the temperature at 30 degrees Celsius by cooling. Large amounts of heat are evolved and the cooling of the fermenter is very important. Harvesting the yeast. The period of fermentation and the trade or production fermenter varies from 10 to 20 hours depending on how much yeast is pitched into it. Cells from 3.5% to 5% dry weight of the broth. In some processes, aeration is allowed to continue for 30 to 60 minutes at the end of the feeding to allow unused nutrients to be used up, budding cells to divide so that most cells are resting at the beginning of the budding cycle. This ensures that cells divide somewhat synchronously when growth resumes. The fermentation broth is cooled and cells concentrated in centrifugal separators. They are washed by resuspension in water and centrifugation until they are lighter in color. The yeast cream resulting from this treatment contains 15 to 20 percent yeast cells. It is further concentrated by passing over a rotary vacuum filter or through a filter press. Sometimes the Mautner process is used to ensure a friable dry cream during vacuum filtration. This latter process consists of adding before filtration 0.2 to 0.6 percent weight by volume sodium chloride which causes cell shrinking by osmosis. Excess salt is removed during filtration by spraying water over the filtered yeast so that the cells swell again. The resulting product has a dry matter content of 28 to 30 percent. The yeast may then be packaged as compressed yeast or active dry yeast. It may also be converted into dried yeast for human or animal feeding. Baker's yeast may be produced as moist that is compressed yeast or as dried active yeast. Let us discuss compressed yeast. The yeast product obtained after harvesting is mixed with the fine particles of ice, starch, fungal inhibitors and processed vegetable oils which all help stabilize it. It is then compressed into blocks of small blocks for household use or large for factory bakery operations, stored at 
minus 7 to 0 degree Celsius and transported in refrigerated vans. Active dry yeast. Dry yeast is more stable than compressed yeast. In many developing countries, baker's yeast is imported from abroad in the form of active dry yeast. For active dry yeast, production special strains better suited for use and dry condition may be used. It has been found that when regular strains are used, they perform better as dry yeast when they are subjected to a number of treatments. Food and feed yeast. Yeasts are used for food by man for the following reasons. To provide protein, to impart flavor and to supply vitamins, especially B vitamins. Food yeasts are sometimes prescribed medically when a deficiency of B vitamins exists in a patient. Food dish have several synonyms such as dry dish, inactive dry dish, dry yeast, dry inactive yeast, dried tarola yeast, sulfite yeast, wood sugar yeast and xylose yeast. Too high a consumption of yeast is detrimental to health because of the high RNA content of yeast which the kidneys are unable to dispose of. Production of food yeast. While baker yeast are usually produced from molasses using special strains of Saccharomyces cerevisiae, food dishes are produced from a wide variety of yeast and substrates. Yeast used as food dishes. Yeast used as food dishes are Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Saccharomyces colburgensis, Saccharomyces fragilis, Candida utilis and Candida tropicalis. Only Saccharomyces fragilis can utilize lactose, hence it is used for the fermentation of whey. Candida utilis is the most versatile of all the yeast and will utilize a wide range of carbon and nitrogen sources rather than any other. Hence, it is most widely used in food yeast preparations. Substrates used for food yeast production. The most commonly used substrates are molasses, sulfite liquor, wood hydrolysate and whey. Since interest developed in single cell protein, other unconventional sources have been developed. These include hydrocarbons, alcohol and wastes of various types. However, commonly used substrates such as molasses, sulfite liquor, wood hydrolysate and whey will be discussed. Molasses. Baker's yeast grown on molasses as described above. After separation from the spent liquor by centrifugation, be dried to yield food yeast. Drum drying, spray drying or Fluidized bed drying may be used to reduce the moisture content to only about 5%. Sometimes food yeast is grown on molasses for that purpose. Thus, Candida utilis is grown fed batch in Taiwan in Walda fermenters. The fed batch method using molasses is also used in South Africa. Recently, food yeast using Candida utilis in continuous culture in molasses has been grown in Cuba and Eastern Europe. Sulfite liquor. The impetus to produce food and fodder yeast from sulfite liquor derived from an attempt to reduce the pollution which would arise if the waste containing fermentable substrates were discharged directly into a stream. The use of continuous fermentation was attractive because the sulphide is produced almost continuously in the operation of the pulp factory. In general, a Waldorf type fermenter is used for the continuous production of yeast from sulphide waste. Liquors from various sources are usually blended. Thereafter, the sulphide containing compounds are removed either by precipitation with lime 
by aeration or by passing steam through it stream stripping. The pH is adjusted from about 2 to 5.5 using ammonia. The lowest pH consistent with high yield is usually preferred in order to lessen the chances of contamination. Ammonium, phosphate and potassium are monitored and supplied continuously. The versatile and hardy yeast candida utilis is usually used so that biotin is not added. The yeast is harvested continuously and recovered by removing liquor at the same rate as it is introduced. Production of food yeast from whey. The effluent which drains from the coagulum from milk during the cheese manufacture is known as whey. It contains approximately 4% sugar that is lactose, 1% mineral and some of the lactic acid which enable the coagulation of the milk protein. In countries where a lot of cheese is produced, whey is a waste product but it is sometimes turned into good use in the production of alcohol or yeast. Very few yeast metabolize lactose. Those which do not include Saccharomyces lactis, Chloromyces fragilis and its imperfect or asporogenous stage Candida pseudotropicalis. The whey is diluted, fortified with ammonia, phosphate, minerals, yeast extract and then pasteurized at 80 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes. It is then inoculated with yeast at pH 4.5 at an incubation temperature of 30 degree Celsius. Any of the above yeast could be used but the United States the preference is for Chloromyces fragilis. In many establishments the fermentation is continuous and sugar, pH and minerals are monitored automatically. The yeast is recovered by centrifugation and may be drum or spray dried. Feed yeast. Feed yeast are the same as food yeast described above. The only difference is that less rigid standards are imposed on the production of feed yeast. Thus, feed yeast intended for animal feeding are usually obtained by drying out the whole fermentation broth often without washing. Several thousand tons of yeast are recovered from breweries around the world annually. To be used as food yeast, such yeast is debited of hop resins by repeated washing with dilute alkali until the bitterness no longer exists. It is then slightly acidified to about pH 5.5. Cells are recovered by centrifugation and spray or drum dried. Alcohol yeast. Alcohol yeast are those to be used in beer brewing, wineries and distilleries for spirit of industrial alcohol. In the production of alcohol yeast, the aim is cell production. The methods are generally similar to those already described for baker's yeast. Beginning from a lyophilized vial or tube Contamination is checked by a plate. A single colony that is preferably a single spore by micro manipulation is picked and multiplied in sequentially increasing amounts. The yeast used are specially selected strains of the following. Breathing, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Saccharomyces uarum colbergensis, Saccharomyces uarum. Wine, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Saccharomyces bionis, Saccharomyces baeticus, Saccharomyces ellipsoides. Distillery yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. The medium used in the multiplication of the yeast is made of materials to be found in the final fermentation. Thus, for growing bravery yeast, wort is used. 
for distillers yeast a rye malt medium is used and for wine grapes juice is used. Alcohol yeast are usually recovered and reused for several rounds of fermentation before being discarded. Other yeast products, various products used in the food, pharmaceutical and related industries may be produced from yeast. Yeast extracts are used in the preparation of soups, sausages, gravies to which they impart a meaty flavor. The extracts may be obtained by autolyzing the yeast and thereafter spray drying or drum drying with or without extracting soluble materials from the autolysate. The extract may also be obtained by hydrolyzing the yeast cells in acid solution. It is neutralized with sodium hydroxide, filtered, decolorized through charcoal and concentrated to a syrup or spray dried. Yeast products are usually fortified with the flavoring compound monosodium glutamate, extracts of animal or vegetable protein or with yeast cells. In addition to these traditional uses, yeast has also been used for many other commercial applications. Vegans often use yeast as a cheese substitute and it is often used as a topping for products such as popcorn. It is being used in the petrochemical industry where it has been engineered to produce biofuels such as ethanols and furnishing a diesel and a jet fuel precursor. It is also used in the production of lubricants and detergents. Yeast is used in the food industry for the production of food additives including colorants, antioxidants and flavor enhancers. It is the often used in the production of pharmaceuticals including antiparasitics, anti-cancer compounds, biopharmaceuticals such as insulin, vaccines and nutraceuticals. Yeast is commonly used in the production of industrial enzymes and chemicals. In the field of environmental bioremediation strains have been exploited for the removal of metal from mining waste. In conclusion, today yeasts are produced and used in all the six continents of the world and it is known that single most produced microorganism in terms of weight. Yeast has been considered to be the organism of choice for the production of alcoholic beverages, bread and a large variety of industrial product. This is mainly based upon that the metabolism of yeast can be manipulated using genetic techniques. Easy and quick it can be grown to high cell yields such as biomass and the same biomass can be separated from products. Above all, it is generally recognized as safe. Thank you.